So now this is a video how the radio works. <clears throat> I've hooked up uh, my laboratory power supply. This is the FM radio antenna. I've taken a 220 picofarads capacitor for the discriminator coil and it seems to work because uh, I turned it in, I turned the coil in and now the modulation is better if the, if the coil is turned out, it's distorted. Um, it's very silent on FM and it still has some weird noise issues. Um, here I have tuned in a German station, you can hear it. Oh well, that's the speaker. Okay, well, well it works without any distortion basically, but it's very silent. The other thing is if I go to AM, change to AM, it's very loud, AM is very loud, and of course it's not picking up anything, just static and, but it seems to do something. So that's how the radio works, um, yeah. Now I have fixed this radio. What I had to do is a couple of things. Well, as you can see here, I took my Dremel and removed some of the PCB right there. And now this ground connection is still there for the volume control, but the plus connection now is working. So this plus goes to the battery holder plus, and the other plus here goes via this yellow wire that you can see here. It goes to this pin, so it switches on the IC. So now the on-off switch is working. Well, then I was still having problems with the FM. I really tried around with this IC. And I also tried my, if you want to call it like that, custom IF transformers. And I figured out that the, the transformer they're using is having two coils. So it's having one pair here, and it's also having one pair here. And of course, in the schematic and in the plan, this transformer is supposed to have only one coil instead of two. And what they did is they just shorted out the second coil because they were expecting this transformer only to have one coil instead of two. And well, that obviously messed up the discriminator. I removed with my Dremel tool, I removed this short circuit here and off camera test, now the discriminator can be aligned very well and FM is as loud as it's supposed to be. Okay, that were my two main things that I had to fix, despite of all the other mistakes that are on this board. Uh, but I didn't have to change the board physically, only these two things. Okay. But first I'm going to align the FM radio of this two frequency radio. <clears throat> I have connected the uh, battery terminals to my power supply. And I'm going to adjust the local oscillator first. Therefore, I have uh, aligned the lowest possible frequency on this radio, which is around 88 MHz. In Germany, it's 87.5. And there are two coils. This is the local oscillator coil, and that's the antenna coil. And since you can turn, uh, I mean, there's no screw for the local oscillator coil, uh, you need to turn the variable capacitor. And if you follow the traces, you can see that this capacitor is for the local oscillator. I have a radio here, which is on 87.5 uh, uh, plus 10.7 megahertz. It's picking up the FM signal from this radio kit, local oscillator. So I turn on the radio, you can hear static, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn here until the static disappears. Oh, seems like there's a dodgy contact somewhere, ah, there we go. That's a dodgy contact. So, as you can see... I can very well align that local oscillator. So if I turn off that radio... So as you can see, it's the radio broadcasting into the other radio. Well, that's one of the principles of a superhead radio. The next thing I have here is my, say, small FM transmitter. It's already transmitting and I'm going to align the detector for FM now, which is the blue coil. So I'm turning, I'm tu increasing the volume and I'm, tu I'm tuning in the FM transmitter. So I can hear it, but it's very silent. 
can hear it in the background. So now I'm going to align this blue coil and it will get very loud and clear. So one bad thing about this radio is that the speaker is kind of broken. So if you make too loud, you, could, you just could hear it how it sounds if you make too loud. Maybe the cone is bent or I, I don't know. It's, it's a little bit bad. But now the radio is working fine. The next thing that you could align, that, that I could align, is I could pull out this antenna the FM antenna, I could pull it out and probably this capacitor here is for resonance with the antenna coil. So if you peak that, you will get the best FM reception. Once again, I would li really like to show you FM reception, but I can't do it because uh, I'm afraid of copyright strikes due to the music that is being broadcasted there. Okay, that was uh, except with this coil, which I have to align off camera. Uh, that was the alignment of the radio. Well, there's not much going on in these uh, integrated circuit radios that you have here. Everything is built in into this uh, chip. Uh, it's kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it works now and I really had to do stuff to get it working, but you know, it's kind of boring. So, this is the alignment of the AM part of the radio. I have changed the switch already to AM, so it's picking up AM now, AM stations. And if you remember the video about the blue radio, what I've done is I have uh, aligned it to the lowest possible frequency. You can see it's pretty much on the lowest scale. And I have placed another receiver close to the radio, which is on 985 kilohertz, because there's a difference we want to have our local oscillator signal to be. Um, okay, I Turn up the volume on this radio. I've already aligned these capacitors to minimal capacitance, at least the ones that are kind of reliable to medium wave or belong to medium wave. Anyway, um, okay, I'm turning up the volume on this control receiver and I'll turn this transformer core and you could hear a change in the tone. Or you will be able to hear it. Well, it's not test transmitter interfering a little bit. So there we go. Oh well, I should turn on the radio. <laughs> it's a good idea to turn on the radio if you're doing something like that. So there we go, now it's aligned. And now I'm going to align this radio on 1.455 because we haven't yet aligned the IF uh, on this other radio. So it's round about there, it's not so critical, it's a little bit hard to align. No, come on. So it's roundabout in that area. And now I'll turn this radio, I swap it, and I'll turn it to 1 megahertz. Well, at least in theory. It's of course having some dodgy contacts with this power supply. There we are. And yeah, now it's tuned. So now it's tuned to around about 1 MHz. I know this isn't an exact alignment, I just want to show you how you would align a radio if you want to real if you want to align one. So now I turn on my test transmitter and you can see this gray wire around here. This is where my uh, weakened test signal comes. So I've reduced the power from the test transmitter because this radio is very sensitive. Of course, I already made some off-camera tests. Um, okay, so I turn up the volume. And you're pretty, you can already hear it very fine, but you only can hear static mainly. So now I have to align the IF transformer, that's the black one. So I turn it. There we go, it's perfectly aligned. That's the speaker. So the speaker is kind of bad, but it works. Bandscan.